I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of React into these true story animations. I have two weird ones in today's episode. If you guys first video of today's episode, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First video of today's episode is called My Sister is Dating the Entire Town. And before we begin, I saw some comments in the last video saying that I was talking too much and I should just shut my pie hole. So what I'm going to try to do right now, the first few minutes of the video, I'm just going to let it do what it does. And I'm just going to, you know, say as little as I can. And we'll just see how that goes. I'd been swiping on Tinder for weeks and hadn't even had one match. I didn't get it. It's not like I was butt ugly or anything. Finally, my phone beeped. I'd matched with someone. I'm not supposed he to say anything, guys. He asked me to meet in an hour at a nearby cafe. The and video's so playing. I can't I say anything. I quickly changed into a cute outfit and rushed out the door. Mm. When I saw him, I was shocked. He was sitting in a booth with a girl opposite him. I couldn't believe it. I'd heard this kind of thing could happen, where a guy would have two dates in a row. I decided to walk by and see if he noticed me. Well, he did, and he legit screamed, and in the process, knocked his soda all over his date. Ha, oh. <laughs> served them both right. But then he stood up and started pointing at me and said, there's two of you. The girl turned around and I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. It was my sister, my identical twin sister to be precise. Belle, what are you playing at? I said. She got annoyed at me and said I'd ruined her new dress by turning up like that and giving her date a fright. She said she'd come in for a coffee and this guy had run up to her and started chatting. Okay, I'm going to pause the video real quick. It's so hard not to say anything right now, but I'm giving you guys what you want. You wanted me to not talk over the video, so I'm just going to shut my mouth and we're just going to let it play. I'm just going to keep going, ooh and ah. I told her I'd match with him on Tinder and that he was waiting for me. The uh. whole time, the guy just stood there looking back and forth between us. Mm. We must have been making a lot of noise because suddenly some other random guy came up to us and in a not so subtle way told the guy that I was supposed to be on a date with that me and my sister had been with everyone in town and that oh. he should run while he still had the chance. Interesting. Excuse me, I said. This was supposed to be my first date ever. Like the first date I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> Loser! The random guy just Sorry, burst guys. out laughing and <clears throat> said, sure, and I'm the queen of England. Then he walked off and my date left with him. As they walked out the door, I heard the waiter say, Sorry, bud. Those girls are always up to no good. Damn, you guys gonna kiss or what? Like, what's good, my guys? That was the final straw. I'd had it with my sister. My whole life, she'd always gotten her way. I just had to say that. The Come only on. reason she you even guys know graduated I can't keep my mouth high shut? school was because she made me sit her exams. I felt like such an idiot. What in the... No wonder I'd Holy only Tata's had one Batman, match on what's that Tinder. about? Everyone probably assumed I was my sister and wanted to run for the hills. All right, but that's me trying not to talk for two minutes. I couldn't do it. I was about to blow my freaking brains out. So if you guys don't want to hear me talk over the video, just watch the animation video. I'm going to leave the link to the channel in the description box below. But we are going to do what we do, guys. So let's go. I mean, I knew my sister was pretty active in the dating scene, but I didn't know she was basically hooking up with every guy she set her eyes on. Oh, her upon. herpes are pretty active then. I stormed then. out of the cafe Show. and she ran after. You know, that itch she said in the crotch is pretty active. what had happened in the cafe. Damn, Tata's and active. she hadn't dated that many guys, but I didn't believe her. She'd always been like this. She used to steal my toys, then my friends, and now my first date ever. I was 21, and all I wanted was to meet a nice guy and marry him. 21 How with no dates? Lies. I tried Tinder a few more times, but one guy messaged me saying I was a liar. Bro, what kind that of Tinder she on? That was Cassie, it was Belle, and that if I thought I could fool him, I had another thing coming. Then he blocked me. I'd been away at college for three years, and I'd been so focused on my studies. I hadn't made any time for guys. Now I was back home, and my sister had messed everything up. <laughs> She's back home in hell. Give up that I like easily. that touch. The next time I saw her heading out for a date, I followed her. I wanted to see what she did that made guys so weary of her. Did she just go on one date, then dump them? Also, I kind of wanted to get back at her for what she'd done to me. I kept a safe distance and watched as she met this guy in the park. They chatted for a bit, then they went off together. I tried to follow, but I lost sight of them. What's her An end goal here? Why is she said, dating every single guy oh, in the town? Oh dear, I think I'm seeing double. Then she wandered off. Damn, I couldn't believe I'd lost them. I waited for ages, and eventually they came back. Just eating and Chinese takeout on a bench, that's the life. Off to her car. That's that quarantine life. For some life. reason, he stayed in the park, and after 20 minutes... I decided I had nothing to lose. That's a satisfied face right there. I think I know why she's dating the entire town. I think I know why guys are accepting to go on dates with her. I mean, look at that face. Is that not the most satisfied face you've ever seen in your history of watching these true animation videos? I walked up to him and he started grinning. 
back for more already. Back for he more said, already, my guy. I have no guy. idea why, but I told my him that yes, guy. I missed him already, and he's maybe a dog. He could hang out some more. Woo! He looked at my outfit and frowned. Then I said I'd quickly change because I was feeling cold. And then he shrugged his shoulders and said I looked even cuter now. Oh. The awkward part was that I didn't even know his name, but I couldn't exactly ask him now. We ended up chatting for hours, and I apologized for making a move so quickly. And he said it had been fun, but maybe we should slow down and get to know each other properly. Dang, he said slow down. Basically, he said use a hoe. <laughs> I'm sorry for always laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I agreed. And then when he went to the bathroom, I took his phone and quickly changed my sister's Trust number issues in his already? phone to my number. Red flag. At least I knew his name now. Waving the red Kenneth. flag. Never check he anybody's goodbye, phone. Come on now. And waited That's until my rules. sister was asleep. Then I took her phone and deleted his number. She even sleeps like a hoe. on her Tinder. I just said hope that she with her legs noticed. all spread. The next morning, I asked about her date the all day before. Fresh and willing she said for he wasn't looking. her type and that she wouldn't see him again. Thank God, I thought. But there was just one small problem. I really liked him, but he thought I was my sister. I had to ask Belle what she talked about with him, so I didn't mess so up. So wait, I'm talking over the dialogue him. so much. But she Are just they twins? At me and said, Can somebody we didn't fill really me in? do much talking, if you know what I mean. If you know I what I mean. I texted him straight away Stop and said I really my lines. enjoyed yesterday and couldn't wait to see him again. He replied immediately and asked if I wanted to go watch a movie that night. Wow, someone actually wanted to go on a date with me. I mean, she act okay, like she's looking he thought like I was Shrek Belle, or something. but so what? It I was mean, me she he might be a hideous liked, beast, right? but not that hideous. That night we went to the movies and I told my sister I was going to my friend's house. She just teased me if she knew I had a date. And of course, she had another date already. She moved on fast. At the movies, we waited in line to buy popcorn, and when we got to the front, the girl said, What kind of hair is that? That's like asking your barber, can you give me a dog just shit on the top of my head? And he's like, I got you, fam. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't get this shit out. <laughs> Not enough? I was confused. Then I realized what was going on. This couldn't be happening. I told Kenneth I wasn't feeling well, and he said he was sure I'd feel better after taking a seat. Ugh, I just wanted to get out of there. What were the chances that both me and Belle were on dates at exactly the same movie theater? I mean, it's pretty high. She's dating the entire town, right? The chances of her going on a date with somebody are pretty high. Maybe you're in a small town and the movie theater is the only place you can go to. Maybe she's in boring assville and there's nothing else to do but go to the movies. So the chances are pretty high. Come on, girl. You're smarter than that. You went, went to, to college. I did it. I stood it. there waiting nervously. Then I felt a hand on my back and heard a voice saying, a big ass, Ready, long, babe? chubby, lubby movie hand. Movie starts in five. But it wasn't Kenneth's voice. No. I told him I needed to use the toilet quickly, but he was like, didn't you just go? Yeah, but so we I just ate chimichangas said, for yep. dinner. Tiny my bladder. is all bubbly and gutsy. Back row. Then I ran into the toilets. I knew my sister was in there, and I just had to hope she didn't see me. <laughs> Luckily, she was still in the cubicle, but she was on the phone and already arranging her next date. She Dude. was insane. Still on one date and already planning the next one. She's a one. capital ho. I couldn't risk her going out and bumping it to Kenneth. She's a ho-ho. So I went back out you know, and luckily like Santa the coast was clear. Her date was gone and it was just Kenneth standing there. I told him I'd been puking and really needed to go home, so we left. He seemed disappointed but said we could just go see the movie another time. I decided the only way to date Kenneth was to do it in secret from now on. I knew I'd have to come clean at some point. Just move to but another I wasn't town. ready for that yet. He kept asking to meet my family, but I always said they were too busy, and eventually he stopped Just asking. Just say that your family's dead. We always hung out at his place, which suited me fine. After a few months, my sister announced that she was taking <laughs> a months. trip to visit a friend on the West Coast. She just up and left, which I found totally weird. I'd been spending a lot of time with Kenneth, so I hadn't been home much. But our mom said she was acting kind of quiet, and she thought something might be wrong. Meanwhile, Kenneth still called me Belle. It was starting to bug me. This whole time, I'd always thought I was nicer than my sister, but in reality, I was just as bad as her. Well, I tried obviously her, he knows you as Bill. It's not his she fault. Said she was fine. Just say that but your real name is whatever your name is. I wasn't even listening. Maybe she knew I was dating Kenneth and had left because she felt hurt. But then she finally told me the real reason she'd left. She said she was pregnant and she was trying to figure out who the dad was. Ew. My heart almost stopped. Then she, she let said so she many dudes in that sure holiest of holes. Who lived on the That's West Coast. gross, dude. So she'd gone there to find him, and he was super happy. And now they were thinking about getting married. I couldn't believe it. I never thought my sister was the kind of person to get married. This whole time, my goal had been to find a nice guy How to marry. How is she going to know who the dad she is, beat though? She me to it. 
After we hung she has up to do the like phone, DNA I decided to though. tell her that I was dating someone. I called her back and she said she was so happy for me and couldn't wait to meet him. I chickened out from telling her his name though, but she'd find out eventually. That night, I was I going mean, to she Kenneth's probably for with knew that she dated him because she had dated the entire town. Car, I knew Boo. something was wrong. He looked angry and he took out his phone and showed me a picture. It was Oof. my sister and her boyfriend at Disneyland in LA. I do. He said his had just sent him this picture. Oh, did I want to explain myself? That's the why you tell the truth, people. The before when I'd canceled my date with Kenneth because I hadn't been feeling well. I get caught up with your twin. Me. That's a whole. He thought I was cheating on him. Oh no, I had to tell him. Actually. That's my twin sister, I said. Yeah, like, what's the big deal here? If I was dating a girl and then I saw her kissing another dude through pictures, I'd be like, yo, what is this? And if she said, I have a twin sister, here's proof. Boom! I automatically believe you because that's the truth. Problem solved. I wouldn't be mad. I'd just be relieved. And he looked at me like I was insane and told me to get out of his car. Yeah, of course. But I begged him to listen to me. Of course, Kenneth. I told him that she was actually Belle and I was Cassie and that I pretended to be her the first day in the park because I was getting revenge on her. That I'd actually fallen yeah, for him. get that sweet, sweet and revenge! And I felt too late to admit what I'd done. Then I told him my sister had moved to L.A. to live with her fiancé. I even showed him a photo of me and Belle together so he'd believe me. He told me to get out of his car, and he said he never wanted to see me again. Okay. I was I guess devastated. that's a rational response. I'd completely messed up. Whatever. Kenneth stopped I mean, applying she did lie, messages, though. So, you know. And I found it hard to go to work and act like a normal person. I missed him so much. And I started to miss my sister, too even if she had kind of driven me to do this in the first place. After a few months, she came home. Her bump was huge. She was only eight weeks away Still from Still wearing popping, the same shirt too? She was alone. And Still I knew out that there hoeing. Her her even though she got up. somebody in there she growing. She said he knew he couldn't be the father and that wasn't intentional the match of me rhyming, so but you know what? So he told her to go home. I do what I do. she was going to be a single mom. She asked about the guy I'd been dating, and I said he'd broken up with me too. And she said, oh man, all guys are the same. But I was lying. You see, I'd started seeing <laughs> Kenneth again. He Bro, said she he got that Pinocchio, so much too, though. And that life felt empty without me in it. So we'd been meeting up in secret. At the same time, my sister and I started to grow even closer. And when she gave birth, I was right there with her. I told her to do a paternity test to figure out who the dad was. It's but Kenneth. she said she Watch. didn't care. It's going to be she a twist. She could manage it alone. Ooh, what a twist. When my was born, though, I knew something was up. Oh, what a twist. Sick. The baby has orange hair. What a twist. Red hair, and that could only mean <laughs> one thing. And when she saw him for the first Bro, time, I love these she stories. Knew I know who the dad <laughs> Everybody's is. Everybody's a hoe. She said. And I wanted to scream because I knew exactly who the dad was too. What, is he the only red-haired dude in town? I'm telling you, they live in boring assville and the population is like two people. And that meant my life was over. Kenneth had red hair. I decided there was only He's apparently one the only guy with red hair in the town. An hour later, Kenneth turned up at the hospital. I texted him and told him to come quickly, and he was so worried. Oh, he did come he quickly. something was wrong with He me. definitely came when quickly. he arrived and saw with his legs there spread. next to Belle he and her she... newborn baby, he almost passed out. I felt so stupid. How had I not thought of this before? My sister asked Kenneth how he knew to find her here, and then before I could even say anything, he blurted out that he'd been dating me for the past nine months. And my sister looked at me with so much hurt in her eyes. What should have been the happiest moment of her life had just turned into a complete disaster, and it was all my fault. Damn. You're probably assuming Don't put that, that bad energy on the baby. Got back together to raise their son, right? Well, yeah. not exactly. You see, Kenneth and I were seriously in love. He wanted to marry me. And although it's weird to marry the man who got your sister pregnant, these things happen. Yeah, but he didn't know, right? My sister eventually right? forgave me. Wait, that we'll kid's old enough to be to do doing the like future. those kung fu stances? Your son is going to wonder why his dad is also his uncle. Whenever Kenneth and I take him out to play, people just assume he's my baby. We're getting married soon, and who knows? Maybe we'll have a baby not long after. His cousin will also be his half-brother. Yep, it's kind of complicated, but I got what I wanted in the end. And maybe now my sister will think twice before dating every guy in town. Okay, well, I have to say, the story stayed on topic for the most part. She did kind of date the entire town. I know that they're exaggerating there and they're stretching that out. But a lot of these guys were stretching the sister out, so it all goes together. Next video of today's episode is called, I'm Missing an Important Part of My Body, But I Did It. Hey, as long as he did it, then we're all proud Hi, of him. Right? My name is Bill, and yes, right now you are not listening to my voice. Though the words are mine. You will never hear me because I was born without my lower jaw. Because of this, I almost didn't have any friends. Would you be friends with someone like me? Yeah, because you'd never argue with me. I'd always win every single conversation. One acquaintanceship changed my life forever. I rarely left the house. It became a hobby to go to the hospital. 
as only the doctors didn't look at me strangely because of my face. They no, wanted they did to it help me, back. but couldn't. They were like, freak! The thing was that I had heterotaxy, a misplacement of organs. Heterotaxy. In addition, my case is unique. The lower part of my jaw not only has an incorrect structure, but it is just missing. Oh. Which is why no surgery can help me. What that mouth There's do? nothing to fix. What that There's mouth don't do? There's nothing to reconstruct. Whoa. I almost don't feel tastes. I can only eat liquid food through a straw, even have a tongue, which is why I am mute. But this didn't stop me from singing and becoming a famous musician. Why would you do that? You don't even have a bottom jaw and you out here choosing a career that is an uphill battle? My dude, what is wrong with you? Do you have brain taxi too? One day I went to the doctor as usual. At the reception, I met a girl named Emily. I liked her right away. She was so pretty and cute, though she didn't have her neck bandaged, and she looked very sick. What that neck do? She not only didn't get scared by How me, you throw your neck but out, she also girl? started comforting me. Hands up, she knows sign language, and I could show her what I feel. I decided that there was someone in her family who is deaf. But most importantly, Emily didn't have disgust nor the usual obsessive curiosity. She just wanted to support me. I felt normal with her. After that meeting, we became friends very quickly. That's cool. As Always we have gotta common have that support system. Music. Ends up, Emily did vocals and even performed in local clubs, bars, and festivals. I told her about the fact that I always loved music and dreamt of binding my life with it. You know, it's as though melodies are born in my head. It's indescribable. So I write songs. But it's just that I couldn't sing them. But Emily had a beautiful voice. And I thought, well, why not create our own project? She agreed to try. I invited her to my home. I showed her that I'm not too bad at editing doing tracks DJ and stuff? improvising on the spot. She liked it. I was really happy. For the first time in my life, I was happy I didn't I'm have happy a job. I'm happy for you guys. As we wouldn't have I met actually am. not for my thumbs illness. Thumbs up for him. You know, two all my thumbs up for my man. I love when I love heard how I work with the control panel, she began singing along. Oh, yeah. This she likes how, how he works those fingers. You saw he was doing the little I became more on the confident with like, Emily. Rrr, rrr, rrr. I'd been ashamed of my own talents like, before. Ooh, ooh, now Emily ooh, convinced ooh, me to go on stage ooh, with her. We were to perform at a club. She said everything would be cool. I'd just stand in a mask at the DJ console while she sings. Okay, that looks pretty and it normal. it was great. I felt totally myself. Tell me the mask isn't going to fall off, though. Everybody's going to be like, About the fact that I'm mute. I sang. Yes, I don't have a tongue, but I sang with my soul. I sang through Emily's lips. Does she know you the don't have a tongue? Liked us She'll so be much mighty that disappointed. They us to perform at a local festival. Though it wasn't big, but still a success. I was really anxious. Me and Emily had to rehearse a lot. Maybe this is one true. Of these days, Maybe I this kid turned out to be have. Marshmallow or something. It had been better if I were deaf, dear God. We were at her home, and I left her room to the kitchen to get a can of Coke. I accidentally overheard her parents try to convince her to abandon our project. Why? I understood. They were ashamed of me. I was so hurt. My heart Parents tore are so into judgmental. A-holes, dude. And I left. Unwiped a-holes. I just couldn't be Especially there. the dad's face. I sent her a text message saying that I felt bad, probably that I was sick. But I thought on my own, to hell with all of it. The next day, Emily decided to meet and bring me new notes. She spent half the night working on another song. Was our project really that important to her? I yes, told her, dude. Using it doesn't matter what her parents say. She feels it in her words. heart, dude. In her Emily soul. Emily suddenly became serious and said, It's not what you think, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Now kiss Let's me with tongue. some other time. I had nothing left to do but agree to it. The day of the festival came. It was the most worrisome day of my life. Okay. But as soon as the music started playing, I understood that it is my place yeah. in life. We performed really well. The audience's applause was deafening. After the performance, some guy came up to us. It ended up being an agent looking for talents. And then you woke he up. He praised us and my image with the mask. And then you he woke up again. To work together. We were so happy. For the first time, I believed I could live a full life despite my appearance. And then the guy but asked a for a kiss with later, tongue. Come on, somebody asked for a kiss with tongue. Crushed. Make my day. Emily disappeared. I texted her, even came to her house, but no one opened the door for me. I didn't know what to think until I went to the hospital for another checkup. There, I saw her parents. No. They told me the truth. Emily has throat cancer. Oh! Which is exactly why we met here. She had come for consultation to remove the tumor. Singing for Emily was like walking on the blade of a knife. This is why her mom convinced her to leave our duo. Oh. Even if the tumor removal is successful, 
she will lose her voice forever. She knew this, which is why she learned sign language. Oh, that is I came so to see sad. Emily when she was being prepared for the surgery. I told her that having a voice is not so important. It's much more important that you are understood. And Aww. I understood her really well. I waited all the hours with her parents in the waiting room. I was terribly worried. This is actually as it was so both complicated sweet. and dangerous. But then the doctor came out and said Emily Success. was fine, though she would never be able to speak again. Sing too. But at least we'd be together forever. Or no. Recently, I got an email from a music agent. Though I truthfully told him about the situation with Emily, his answer shocked me, saying that the fact that my uniqueness would get the audience's attention, the soloist can be replaced. Of course, I said no, but he asked me to think for longer. I told Emily about it, and she said she was pulling me down. What should I do? My dream is so close. All I need to do is write yes, but then I'll betray Emily. What do you think? Please help me. Ooh. Write your opinion in the comments, please. I don't know like about this that video one, bro. And subscribe to the channel. Oh, that actually ended really sweet. I like the message in that story. I'm bad with saying the quotes, and I just heard it, but the message of the story was good. I like that. Like, you don't need a voice to be heard. Something like that. But I think he should have a conversation with Emily, sign language, of course, and he should say that this move that I make will be enough to support the both of us financially, and then if Emily really cares about him, she'll be like, okay, you know, do it, and then we'll still be together, blah, blah, blah. So I think he should do it. What do you guys think? But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of reacting to these true story animations. If you guys want me to react to any more animations across the internet, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>